What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. <clears throat> Good morning and welcome to your uh, daily Bitcoin updates. Uh, first of all, hope you're all doing great. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Um, for me, it's fine. Um, not, nothing too big going on. Tomorrow is my birthday for uh, for, 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 for everybody. Um, I will make videos though. I think so at least. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe something is planned. I don't know. Uh, but today uh, it, it isn't yet. So. Um, I wanted to take a look at Bitcoin again. If you're new to this channel, th th this is what I've been doing for quite some time now. Every day I try to take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, and uh, just to post some updates on them, see if there's any news. For Bitcoin, there's, there's not any news right now. I mean, the volume is still relatively high. It's at 8.4% of the market cap. That's great. It has fallen down a little bit, uh, which was to be, to, to be expected. I mean, we had a huge rally um, and yesterday was quite a calm day right I mean you can see um, and is this really my uh, oh wait yeah so I have to delete this but you can see that, that yesterday we actually cooled down a little bit uh, which is to be expected uh, in the analysis I did yesterday I also said that I expected us to from this level here a, a little bit at 21,700 I expected us to yeah as I said cool down a little bit um, and I also think we're go still going to drop down to 20,900, 20,700. <clears throat> but it does seem to me, I mean, we now have this support level at 21,000. It's, it's very strong, all right? There's, there's a lot of bullish momentum and the market structure is quite bullish for Bitcoin right now. Um, so I think we're at least going to reach within this area between 22,000 and 22,500. And the thing I've been thinking about, and I wanted to share that with you, is, is I mean, you all know that the, the correlation in the crypto market is very high, right? I mean, if Bitcoin drops down by 10%, other cryptos are, are, are dropping too. I mean, almost all cryptos are, are dropping by at least 10% then. Um, but I expect, and it has proven to be right until now, I expect there to be some sort of a rally for Ethereum leading up to the merge, which is already right now all right so I, I think it'll continue tomorrow maybe with some minor setbacks but more about that <clears throat> in the video on ethereum um but i was wondering maybe if ethereum really gets a, a, a strong rally i mean this level here for at twenty two thousand five hundred, especially is a very strong resistance level for bitcoin but maybe if, if ethereum really goes up to twenty thousand, bitcoin could actually get a bullish breakout out of twenty two thousand five hundred and get up to twenty four thousand again that's a theory I've been thinking about and I'm not sure whether I believe that something like this is possible because as I said uh, the level between 22,000 and 22,500 is really strong and if, if the merge didn't happen I would expect us that from there we would drop down to 19,000 again all right so so it's it's a very strong level um, and we need a lot of bullish momentum do we actually want to break that but I think we have the chance to break that because I do think that next week um, there will be quite a lot of bullish momentum throughout the market. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I mean, short term, this is what I expect. And as I said in the beginning too, I will be back with uh, new updates, obviously. Um, so it's, it's going to be interesting. It's a theory I will develop in my next videos. Uh, but for now, this is my, my, my take and, and some of my insights on Bitcoin. So if you do have any questions about the analysis or about anything I said, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I want to wish you a great Sunday, great rest of the weekend, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care and bye.